What's goody, what's goody, what's goody? We are back with another Q-Tip Fridays. Just got a fresh cut, as you can see, you know what I'm saying? Things looking kind of crispy. Weekend about to start, so gotta get ready for the weekend, you know? Not going anywhere, but it's just, you know, feeling good. You know, like once you look good, you feel good. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what it comes down to, for real. So this topic, or well, this week's topic, is about um like my first entrepreneur inspiration honestly you know what i'm saying like as far as the first person that i, I seen with my eyes like god damn like that person is really making it happen like god damn you know what maybe it is possible you know so this is, this is a crazy story so i was um i was maybe around like 22 23 i think right and then um, it was like around here, like in um, Pyramid Pines. And the dude, I'm not gonna say, say I'm not gonna say names and that kind of stuff, but um, the dude was, you know, I, I'm into cars, so like whenever I see a person with like with, with a certain car, like you know, that attracts me, you know. So the dude had um back then was like a white E92 M3, clean, super clean, fresh. That alone is like, what the fuck? Like, he's into, you know, like, the cars that I'm into. Like, you know, like, I'm going to actually, you know, peep that right there. Um, Black dude, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like, race is, they always say, like, race is not a thing. But at the same time, like, me being a black dude, like, me seeing another black dude doing it is going to inspire me as a black dude, you know? Um, it was, like, a white dude or a Spanish dude or, like, you know, like, some sort of other race. Like, that's, that's different. But at the same time, like, me being a black dude, like, that inspired me because... That, sh that shows me that, God damn, you know what? That's possible for me to actually up obtain that as well. You know what I'm saying? So, when I seen that, I, I was like, yo, like, he's, he had a, a condo, like, he had, um, he was, he was probably, like, around 20, probably like 26 at the time, like, doing his thing, you know what I'm saying? And, um, I looked at that, you know? So, what, what he used to do was, like, an MLM company. And I was like, yo, like, if he's doing this and, and making money, like, let me try it too. You know, so I seen that, you know, like, he, so he was always on stage speaking to people, you know, like, really, really, like, a super extrovert type dude, you know? But, um, you know, that was n never really, like, like my style to actually be that person that's always out there and just, you know, in front of people's faces and that kind of thing, like, back then, because I feel like I have a little bit of social anxiety at times, you know? So I didn't really understand how to, how to actually go about that without having that certain kind of skill set so um i signed up for the company um i noticed that you know it was, it was a lot of talking to people and that kind of thing and i wasn't really feeling it but at the same time i understood as to like you know why he was at the level that he, he was you know and the crazy thing about those companies also is that it's always going to be a lot of mediocre people but you know the, the people that excel in those companies those people are pretty much people that you know took out that extra leap and you know got in a space that they were super uncomfortable with and then made it happen you know what i'm saying like um the uncomfortability could have came from speaking to others speaking on stage so like once the person pretty much you know went past that obviously a lot of success came beyond that that, that, that point right there so like that's where i wasn't really comfortable within myself at that point in time to even you know explore yet you know so eventually um you know, I pretty much figured that like it wasn't really for me. I ended up quitting the company. Then I pretty much started, you know, things that I'm into. But the entire time that he was within the company, like I kept on like you know being inspired by 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 his moves. You know, um, he had a condo in, in Aventura. He had you know like really really doing his thing. And then eventually he traded him traded in his M3 for an Audi R8. So these were things that I'm like fuck. I could do this too, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm, I'm gonna do it in some kind of way because it's a, it's a dude that is my color doing the same thing, you know? So like, that's gonna always be a thing like when it comes down to it. Like, if, if you're trying to actually be inspired by a person in some kind of way, just to kind of like even see if something is real. I feel like that first person that, that you come across that's like as similar to you as possible, they're gonna be the most or the biggest inspiration to you based on 
them being a certain race, them being from a certain place, them being or coming from a certain situation, something has to, to resonate with you to actually fully, fully grasp, you know, that, um, you know, similarities. You know what I'm saying? So like once you, once you could actually find that, 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 that one person that you have the most in common with, a lot of times, like that's all that you, all that you need to pretty much, you know, spark that, that fire to then, you know, want to work harder now because now you see that, yo, like, damn, like I can reach that because this person did it, you know, we came from the same place or like a similar place or, you know, like it can't be too far away. You know what I'm saying? And when I was in that company, actually, you know, I noticed a lot of things, you know, I noticed that, you know, there was a lot of fluff in certain cases and that kind of thing. But at the same time, I didn't care. I didn't care because even when there's a bunch of lies, there's some sort of truth as well. You know what I'm saying? Like there, there's some sort of truth there as to why this person is doing what, uh, what he's doing. Kind of like with trading now, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, you know, like people always say, you know, cars are rented and things are fake, blah, 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 right? But after all the fake stuff that people might think, right? You don't think that there's any type of realness there? Like nothing is real, nothing at all right and think about it if nothing was real why can't anybody do it why can't anybody do it if, if everything is fake why can't anybody just get it if it's all fake you know what i'm saying so something had to be real there so that's when i i i had to explore deeper when it comes to entrepreneurship and figure out like you know like, like why are these certain people in the upper in the upper echelon of certain businesses compared to the mediocre people. Like, what are they doing different? They're just trying to be more out there. They're trying to actually just, just be more of an extrovert and that kind of thing. Talk, talk to people more. And that's what it comes down to. Like, after being in multiple business, like, there's always going to be in some, some sort of truth behind it. But you have to pretty much be willing to explore that certain truth. You know? And that was my first inspiration. Like, God damn, like I'm I'm seeing him in the local area. I'm like, yo, shit. So me just making that inspire me based off of the similarities, that's what it comes down to, like when it comes to entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship really sparks a person once they have or see another person that pretty much is very similar to you. And then from there have more urgency to like just like want to actually you know figure things out and just like want to actually grow and like want to just you know learn more and that kind of thing but you have to find that, that that one person that you have that most in common with and you don't even have to know them personally because i never knew the, the person personally but seeing him i was like yo you know what okay okay i fuck with it all right bet all right cool 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 you know like i started seeing things and then those are the same things that I'm into as well. So like me seeing all that, that's where it started from. You know what I'm saying? So that's my rant. That's my first entrepreneur inspiration. And from that, now we're here. You know what I'm saying? So that's what it comes down to. So thanks everybody for, for watching Q-Tip Fridays. And in the comments, tell me about your first entrepreneur inspiration. What inspired you to actually get on your shit to um, work harder to get to a better place in life? Put us out of comments, like, share, but definitely I want to hear your story as well. All right, so peace out next Friday.